my husband Rick Purcell and I'm dead Purcell yes. and we are here right? Everybody knows and this is my phone going off probably someone from my family calling me since none of them live here really um and uh since all of you know me I'm not going to introduce how we came to be healers um if anybody's watching the replay there are plenty of past videos and it's on our website healteachlove.org how we became healers and the same information about Philip our beautiful and wonderful associate here Philip Barrow if you would like to say something about yourself please please feel free uh, but I'm a little weary today about <laughs> with all the technical problems we're having about talking about myself Go ahead, Phil. Oh, well, what I can say is that as an e we, we learn lots of stuff during these uh, events. Even we, you know, we, we come across things that we've never come across before and we just battle through it and find the way. Everything is possible. Everything. That's yes, very true. Yeah, and I'm also, start, I'm also so starting school on Monday teaching children crystal therapy again. I can't worry. Mm. <laughs> We're happy you're here yep. and taking time out of your day to join us. Mm -hmm. but by the way, the energies today have been very tiring. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. They've been very strange today. So There are strange energy. Yesterday was a break. The, the days, the few days or weeks before that, it was really strong. And it was it was uh, releasing a lot the last week or so. Uh, but yesterday, yeah. calmed down. And now today, they're back. <laughs> and they're yeah, really, these two, the energies now are like hyper. I also just woke up. I fall asleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep a lot last night. But uh, let's begin. So Victoria's Victoria, up. always number one. Let's go. Got Bobby. Yeah, Bobby's on the room. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi. Oh, it's kind of dark. Let me see if I can make it brighter. Just on my picture. It's oh, fine. Yeah. It, all I see is the sun it's shining on it. Uh, 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 uh. I can see it. Yeah. I mean, I'm tilt it down or there you go right there i mean the the zero point that's something in his tongue that's something going on with his tongue he just ate a bone so that might have done something to his tongue you can put it down victoria <laughs> okay do you get him groomed and take and um do you get him groomed do you take him to get groomed he used to do it a lot but i want to but he scares me because do you give do you um give him a bath only the butt washes because ever since he was you know he resurrected and had all those health problems he was very sensitive to even taking a bath and he would collapse and choke and everything so it, i haven't actually given a full bath in like in like uh two three months he needs a bath. Okay. So it's worried that because he's so sensitive to, to. Well, he needs a bath because I, and it's something to do with his tongue and licking whatever's outside people spray on the grass. He mm -hmm. needs a bath to get that off. Oh, okay. So I, I think I know what you're talking about because in British Columbia, they last year they were talking or a few months ago, they were talking what about what they spray for mosquitoes and all that. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. You need, to, you need to wash him, get give him a bath because he's okay. licking and he's getting it on his tongue and it, and it can be bad for him. Okay. Okay. I will, I'll give him a bath back later because that's what i'm seeing he's getting toxins in his system and it, because he's licking himself after mm -hmm. after he walks gets it on his paws does he ground himself in the grass rolling in the grass no no okay he just walks and and, and it's his paws he licks his paws yeah that's what he's getting it on his tongue okay i do like uh, a lot of times like when i wash his butt his paws are also washed too it's just Full bath, I haven't done yet because, you know, Phil knows what happened the last time I tried to give him a bath. He almost yeah. died. It was really scary. Even giving him a bath, he... Even he just passed. washing the, the stuff. just So if it's on his Just paws, water even, just water. Yeah, yeah. If it's on his paws in certain areas, and I'll focus cleaning on those on areas. His paw, on his paws, yeah. Just wash it. Just yeah. wash the paws then. When you other come in that, from when you come in from outside, it's it, just wash them off. Okay. Um. Other than that, the rest of his body good because I saw a bit of I don't know if it's it just recently I saw maybe it's from the toxins as you say, but usually one nose is um a little runny and clear, but then that which one is it? Um. Anyways, it has a a, a mucus, a, a soft mucus like kind of whitish that I saw yesterday that was like hanging out. So sometimes he coughs and sneezes and it comes out. So is that what's causing him to have that mucus? 
Chris? Yes. Because because I was wondering if he had picked up a, an infection or something outside. Yes. It's really important to wash it, wash his paws okay. when he comes from outside. That stuff is rarely taught. They don't, you know, they don't think about the animals when they're spraying that stuff. And especially now, because they're spraying a lot for mosquitoes and even people. You should, you know, your feet, you're carrying that stuff into the house too. Because mm-hmm. it gets on the sidewalk, it gets, you know, it gets everywhere. You know, last year they sprayed a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and this year the gardens around the neighborhood are not doing well. Even the fruit trees are not having fruit. My, all my fruit trees, except for the pig, are struggling. There are like no fruits. Zero. I mean, we're talking about. Normally you would see, a, you know, a lot of fruits, but this year it was like zero. Intentional. It was intentional. Yeah, t- I know. I know. Yeah. Well, heal your exactly. trees. You can do that. I would do that. Um, yeah. So anything else with Bobby? He's he's okay? No. Mm-hmm. Did you pick up anything? Thank you, Rick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, his neck. I took some energy out of his neck. I don't know what that was all about. So. There was some energy? There was some energy neck? in his neck that I took out. Oh, some low, low vibration energy. I won't worry about it. Yeah. Sometimes I just hear him like barking viciously, you know, in the house, you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, usually when that happens, it means there's something around that's not friendly to him. Yeah. I won't worry about it. Yeah. All right. It's felt a bit sore. It might be just he, he's getting on and he might have a bit of soreness. So I don't know. It's, it's gone to me now. Is he going to get a card? Do you? Got to be quick because we're dead busy tonight. <laughs> All right. Tell us when. When? <laughs> this is for Bobby. Yeah. That's it. Trust, trust and power. Yeah. So trust basically means it's an angel. A nice picture, actually. Uh, trust means you might have difficulties, but hold on to the belief and let the past go. That's more like for you, actually. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> And I think Bobby also has that problem because he's holding on to, you know, something. And the power, you've got the power of the creator, divine love and wisdom, intelligence is available. I think it's for both of you, actually. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you so much for that message Thank and you. the healing. Yeah. You can, I will get the scan later after everything is done. Yeah. Okay. Now, next is my, my small thing here. Oh. Here. Oh. <laughs> He's five years old. I don't know how to. His eyes, or is his eyes there? He's five years old, and he hates it when I have to cut his hair. <laughs> oh, 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 it's all right. It's all right. I cut his hair with sh- sh- um, scissors. No, you don't like it. No, you don't like it. He actually has a blue eyes. Very beautiful. Yeah, you don't like it. Did you have a cat when you were a little girl? Yes, I always have a cat. That bunny was your cat. Oh, that cat is, um, I called her Honey Girl. Oh, this is a reincarnation of your cat. Oh, oh baby. Just sit with <laughs> He likes it to sit around and talk. <laughs> he will not move. It's okay. It does not have a function. I was just doing a um, a, a, it's just going through all the intestines and all of the uh, organs on the inside, mm-hmm. and that's when I saw a picture of him as a cat, and uh, you, when you were mm-hmm. a little girl, and he was showing me. Mm-hmm. He that was also white, all white. The cat was all white with one black spot on the back, all white. It's so beautiful. It's so funny that um, you get them back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm, he seems really healthy. Have you had any issues? I, I was no? picking it. I was picking his back. By the way, he's got a little bit of a bad back. Mm. Yeah, or I've just got a bad back. But maybe, before. maybe it's a future issue. Uh, I don't. I think it's current. Okay, his back. I cleared it. Huh? When I was healing, I, I could feel pain in, it, in me lower back. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to work a rabbit. It's, you bunny, sorry, it's probably where your hand is now. Mm-hmm. Does he run very well? Does he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's loose in the other room. He's um extremely attached to you. So I think um in another, I, I think this is your spirit. Whatever a- animal he is, I think even on the other side, this mm-hmm. this animal will be with you. It's almost like you're attached in all lifetimes. Mm-hmm. I love him because whenever I get in the room, he will turn around and then jump up and then turn around, jump up like he's very happy. <laughs> <laughs> jumping and run turn around jump and i like it when he jump because it's not jump like jump going there it's just going up and then yeah yeah we had two rabbits when um my granddaughter was living with us 
she wanted mm -hmm. she wanted all these animals she wanted turtles and she wanted pigs and she wanted i mean we we had a house in a in a neighborhood you know you didn't and so we ended mm -hmm. up getting her bunnies we got her a lop and a and a miniature bunny mm -hmm. did you okay mm -hmm. i'm happy <laughs> it's okay yes he's good you're good you're good, you're good. oh thank you very much you're welcome can i have another my cat because when she 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 sleep it's very nice noisy can i have her yeah. huh? he's noisy she is noisy when she is um she, she snort <laughs> like that we have a dog we now. have we have cats that snore too <laughs> and we have a dog right next to us snoring <laughs> i will look at her can you look at her yeah okay no no i'll be back here it is. Here she is. Oh, Madonna. that's because she has that face where the pushed in face. Yeah. yeah, I know you're angry. She don't like it. No, she's not ugly. Yeah. <laughs> no, she don't like it when I get her. I think she's okay. Yeah. She's okay. That's good. It's um because of the way their sinus is. Yeah, and then and then very noisy, and I cannot have her in my room. Because I cannot sleep. <laughs> She's like just like the pug, you know, my my granddaughter's dog. They're because they're they're they have that pushed in sinus like that. Yeah. yeah they snore. And we have regular cats and they snore. Oh. They all snore. It's yeah. just that if they're really some are really loud and some are not. You were snoring her, last night. I was? Yeah. <laughs> the other one that don't snore, the other one, the last month, the boy don't snore, but this one very loud. I would always worry for her nose so when she is okay and yeah. I'm just looking at her sinus. Yeah, because her even her sinuses are they're open. There's nothing blocking them. It's just oh it, my God. it's just <laughs> maybe her nose is <laughs> you see anything, Phil? Yeah, my dog back. <laughs> Uh, no, she seems very healthy, very content, but she likes her own to be boss of herself. And she likes to separate. She, mm. She's a typical cat. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you very much. I'm glad. You're welcome. Okay, now we have got for Gabriel. No, yeah, we've got Deb, haven't we? Yeah, my, my kitties. Let me get my pictures. Yeah, we've just got Deb's cat. How are you guys doing? Good. Mm. I got my little cousin with me, Jilly. So, is yours a human or an animal healing? Human healing for me, please. Oh, okay. Can we do my kitty cats first? Oh, yeah. I we thought you the said animal. my name first. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. We do, we do the animals today and then we do humans. And afterwards, we'll do Deb. That's all right. Or is that Freddie? That's Freddie. Oh, okay. You we'll want do you Freddy first? at the end because I'm not sure. Are you human, mm -hmm. cat, or dog, or what? I'm not sure. Let me yeah. find my kitty cats. Yeah. What do you want to happen to your cat? What do you want? I want to. I want to figure out whether on um on Sophie whether there's the chip that's inside of her whether that's controlling her or whether that's you know they're they're doing making her sick. You want it fried. So it's a yeah, physical. Wanna... It's a physical implant, and it's one that you get from the doctor. That's. I I have a feeling. Um, and this was even a suggestion from Jackie, who I'm because I, I can't take claim for because I forgot all about the chip being inside of her. Let me get her picture up just a sec. I gotta go in my photo album on Facebook and get under my cat tab albums. My cats. I know. There she is. Now the chip is just below the belly button. That you can kind of picture that. So kind of in the toward it about here in her belly or right this area underneath she looks very healthy here but she's skin and bones this is all gone this is her she's like this a quarter of the size of this now like that's all gone she's bony you can see her her bone at the, the the spine of her back now i'm getting a yes they are controlling her what are you getting i did get a little bit of an headache when i was scanning it not sure how bad sign that I tried to disconnect most of it. What? I, I, I tried to disconnect it. I did have a few beetles that came, spiritual parasites, I mean, that came off. Of, I don't know what that means. I don't know where she got them from. Seeing a beetle or a chipmunk out of a spiritual friend. I can do you think now. Right, right Deb, I've done my bit. Done? Yeah, there's another one, three feet. This guy, he's nine, 19. I don't know, we may have to just let him go, but he's barely walking now. He, he has to stop every couple steps. His hips, but he's such a sweet boy. I've just picked out one of his past lives. You did? A lizard. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> this guy was so full of personality. 
he used to, our neighbor used to stand there and talk to his son and, and uh, his son-in-law and his son-in-law was, had his back to us. And this guy would run and jump and, and bounce off this guy's back, <laughs> bounce off the back of him. And the guy would go, what the hell was that? I and mean, he was just, the neighborhood loved him. Just, he has such a personality. Now he's just old. Has he got arthritis in the back or something? He's, yeah. His hips and yeah. his hips and back. Real bad. Yeah. He walks a couple steps and then he has to rest. He, he's wobbly, real wobbly. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't want me picking him up and helping him. He gets so mad at me. Mm-hmm. But I try and pick him up and carry him. And he's, he gets angry and bites me. I have to give him, I want to give him a bath because he doesn't even clean himself anymore. It's too much effort. It's his back, I think. Huh? His bad back is really painful. Yes, it is. Yeah. You can tell with every step. Mm. He's in a lot of pain. He still eats real good. He eats and he's drinking and he likes to lay outside on the hot concrete. And and I'm talking 115 all summer long. He's laying in that concrete. It's like it makes his his back and his muscles feel better in the heat. Mm. That feels Mm. good to him. (laughs) Mm. That's because he was a lizard. Yeah. (laughs) Was he really? Yeah, that's what he said. (laughs) He's a lizard. All right, yeah, Ready? One more. We got one coughing now. You want to send that to yeah. me or are you going to show him? How many cats have you got? We have four cats, two, a dog and four ber- uh, two birds. Four birds. You like the cat woman, not you? Um, Simpson. You get one? <laughs> Here, I don't have one of Freddie on, on there. Hold it up. Okay. This is Fred. Fred McMurray. He's only nine. You know, I was going to say he's nine. I really was. He's <laughs> coughing. Of, his previous life was a mouse, by the way. A mouse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he likes to chase them, the field mice. He's our bird cat. He he likes to kill all the birds outside, but he won't eat them. So far, he's left our inside birds, our pet birds, alone. He also brings home baby baby rabbits alive. What do you do? He brings them home, and, oh. and I take them away from him, and I have to wait until dusk to find the mothers, because when I bring them outside and I walk around, and I'm asking my guides, okay, which direction now? And they let me know and I go in the direction. And then all of a sudden the baby will start crying and the mother comes out and I go, there's your mommy. He's okay. The baby knows they could smell their mother and they go, they, they let out this little eek. Mm. I've done it many times. He seems okay. But... I think it's it's uh, allergies. It is. Allergies. Okay. Energy is really strong. I'm getting sweaty. Move on to humans. Thank you, Phil. It's hard when you're so attached to them. All right. That's our All the animals today. That's our animals today. All right, Gabrielle. Hello, beautiful souls. That's pretty cool how you found their mom. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you have I to do it at dusk. That, that's when the mothers go back looking for their babies at, at dark. At work, I kept finding crickets. Crickets were coming in. And like one night, I caught six crickets and took them back outside. So... Uh, I was hoping to have a healing scan, pretty please. Yeah. Okay. That's the weirdest thing. I showed you pregnant, and now I don't show you pregnant. So did you get your period? Mm-hmm. Was it a really yeah. bad one? Yeah. Sorry. I'm lunch I'm sorry. She's still very young. Yeah. I'm hoping so. Um, I'm talking to this guy named Marlon, and um, I hope we can work out some differences. We got into a thought the other day about religious stuff, and I... Um, he's scared of me doing tarot and stuff and uh, I think like he's Pentecostal and I didn't know what that meant so I looked it up and I was like okay what he's Pentecostal Pentecostal. Uh, yeah okay I know what that is (laughs) yeah (laughs) I was like so there's some differences there but uh, I don't know before we were talking about that stuff it was going pretty smoothly but we'll see did you pick up anything uh, out of place or anything to see some ovary problems. I'm on the tail end of my cycle currently. Mm. It was a rough emotion this time. I'm sorry, what? Rough emotion. Um, it was, mm-hmm. every, well, I can tell you it's the, the energies. Uh, everybody's been emotional. It's a time to release old stuff was coming up. A lot of old stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Which needed to be released because, it, you know, obviously people weren't had not released it yet. So a yeah, lot of exactly. Crap. Crap from the past yeah, that needed to finally let go of it. So mm-hmm. I had a lot of people contacting me. What's why am I feeling like this? And that's why. So Phil, Phil, did you say anything? Uh have you got a sore back lately? Yeah. yeah um, I've been hmm? yeah, the sore back uh, yeah. overall. There was like yeah. one grip that was tighter than the others, but yeah. Mm. I we did move um out of Again? yeah, we moved again. 
And this time me and mom pretty much moved ourselves with a little bit of family's help. But um, yeah, it's been hard physically doing all that. And then uh, I'm looking for a new job. So it's just like, I feel like I'm starting all over again. But it was a very <laughs> negative situation. So yes. yeah, well, you've got, I had, I, um, we put some healing energy in your womb and with your ovaries. Thank um, you. And Phil did on your lower back, which is all related. I didn't say lower back, back or it was lower back. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm seeing a lower back because that's where I saw the um, issue. That's why I can yeah. feel the issue. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and, you, guys. Uh, I don't know if I should say this. My crystal ball, uh -huh. nine months from now, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Hey, I don't know me do that. Look. I don't know. I would say I would say ten. I, You'd say yeah. ten. ten. <laughs> I don't know me do and fourteen, and seven, 11. but I was told. I was told yeah. nine, maybe ten. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. I appreciate it. You want to know? So much. Do you want to know what yeah. male or female? I'm wondering if I'm right that it's going to be a boy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate it. Write that down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This was the one I went to record. It was on that one. It's on the record. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Much yeah. love. Do you want to give her a card? Yeah, we'll do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I get a card? Do you, do you want tarot card or do you want oracle card? <laughs> A little Angelic bit aura. That's not yeah. aura. That's a joke from what I, I said before. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not I'm doing like, Tara. It's Alistair Crowley. I'll, 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 I'll do yeah. Oracle card. <laughs> yeah. That was when. When? It means you, you don't get any dark ones. That's the power of music. There you go. Oh. What's the other one that's with it? Power. Power. Music. Power basically means you've got the power of the creator. Use this for the future with the angels connection. Yeah. And what's the other one? Music. Music is. Uh, it's kind of been my pick me up lately. To do with frequency. To do. Okay. Using music, meditation, I suppose, to, to ground yourself. So, yeah, yeah, so. Okay, all right. Oh. Do. So you got the power of the creator and the connection with the angels, I'd say that more. And uh, use meditational music to ground, mm -hmm. ground your problems at the moment. You've got a few emotional problems. Yeah. 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 I, I, right I gave you a link in, in your emotions as well because stress doesn't help you. Does yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, that resonates. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you too, honey. Paul, awesome. Paul, you're next. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he just. Uh, oh, there you are. Hi, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Paul, we can't we can't actually hear what you're saying. A bit weird. I can I can read his email if you want. Okay. I get it. Okay. Hello, Deb and Rick. Thank you for the invitation to this session. I look forward to participating participating to the group's energy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I uh, would still be possible to have some healing personally as I've recently been diagnosed with a cancer tumor in the throat area. So. Deb, you couldn't repeat that last bit. I had to stop so few so many of us. Say? Cancer tumor in his throat. Right. You can feel the energy. You can feel the energy. You can feel this warmth go through you. Did you feel the energy, Paul? We can't yeah. actually hear uh, you. sound. Can't hear you. Did you just shake your head? We can't hear you about your your voice. <laughs> I don't know why we can't hear you. Yeah. Actually, shows your volume. I saw a change in his coloring and everything. You look so much better. Your whole coloring changed just from the healing. I wish we could hear you. I do as well. <laughs> Well, go take a rest. We'll talk to you another time. You look like you're going to fall asleep. You're all right? Okay. <laughs> well, we did healing. Oh, Dad, what were you picking up? I picked up the um, tumor. And I picked up, the, I, I just started doing healing. Um, so I focused on the throat and then I was directed to put the healing energy, the white diamond and light into his heart and then go through the bloodstream where it, it, uh, every time his heart beat, it pumps through the golden energy through his bloodstream so that uh, it lasts for the next seven days. So every time his heart beats, it's um, putting the energy throughout his whole um, system. So he, he should have felt like warm water going through his, his chest and through his whole body. Um, so all of his organs are being healed and his 
I mean, it's, his, blood, his blood is being healed and even his skin is being healed. His brain everywhere, his whole body is going through a healing process for the next seven days. I was, uh, I was picking, I was removing a lot of stress. You've got a lot of stress at the moment with where you are. And I got pain in the middle back as well that I removed. I was also getting pain in one of the shoulders. Uh, just a little tip. I am not a doctor. I'm advising to look at it, but I have me and Deb, and I think Rick, I'm not sure, have boron or stroke borax to alkaline our body. And alkaline is very good for you. To alkaline, uh, stops it, helps it. They stopped it in a way. Yeah. I'm not a doctor. I can't prescribe it. But I have got the solution how to do it, and I can send it to Deb. You can email it yeah, if you want, or a video on it. In a video on it. You know, twenty team, bore team, that it's um it just it, it regulates the pH in your body. Yeah. it's a YouTube with a, a, a specialist that talk about it and then also a post that I'll I'll email it to Deb and Deb can put it if you want. Do you, do you have Please pain? Do you have pain in your shoulder here? Yeah, right. I'm not trying to worry here. But that does sound like possibly a liver problem, okay? But I'm not worrying yet. I've done the healing. That's, if I found the pain, I've took the pain off you, if you get what I mean. The only reason I know it's pain there because it comes over to me because I'm taking all the pain off you and then I, I locate where it's pain. Is. Okay, but I'll forward all them details to Deb. And I, I've been having it today. And Deb, you, you've been having it, Deb, have you? On your birthday? <sighs> So feel the energies are going to stay with you for the next week. Drink a lot of water. We'll send you the details on how to do the board team um, drink. Keep in touch. You know, we love you. Right. Give, a, give them a card, Bill. Yeah. Put your, put your thumb up when you when I stop to give you two cards. Give you an angelic card. There you thumb go. Up. Right. Okay. But guardian angel. What that means is yeah. they're saying that they're behind you. They're helping you with, with your problems at the moment. So, and then enchantment. You need to connect to your inner child and recapture your childhood. So you need a bit of fun on your journey. You need to recapture that inner <laughs> child. Yeah. Take life too seriously. I know you've got a big, big problem at the moment, but just dwelling on it just makes it worse. So you need to re rekindle your, your inner child. And remember, your guardian angels are helping you at the back of you. Okay. <laughs> Joy. 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 Do Joy. Hello. Hi, Joey. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm doing okay. <clears throat> yeah, just uh, life is a little funny right now. I'm kind of enjoying it actually. Just, just want to scan. I guess please see if um. You look quite. You look a lot better than a year when we first met you. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that you look ten times better. Yeah. Six when I first met you, I was in pretty bad shape. <laughs> Physically, you look okay. How are you doing mentally? Um. Uh, mentally, I'm 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 exhausted. Um, it's, it looks like you're still playing, like you're still jumping in to the dark and back back and forth. Boom! You got yeah, one you, foot in and one foot out. I've been um I've actually been been uh, been thinking that a lot lately. I'm um I'm I'm really sitting on the fence right now. Um, mm -hmm. I seem that I uh, I seem to have I'm feeling a little lost. Um, I'm having trouble. Uh, last time we uh we, we had this group, um, you guys had told me that uh, I need to get back into you know uh, into practicing spirituality, and I'm really having a tough time doing it. Like I'm just I, I feel very feel very lost. Like I just I, I don't know what direction to go. Um, I don't even know what to do anymore. I just I don't know. It's like um it's like there's a block, and I just um I can't seem to like I want to stay on the good side, you know. Obviously, I I, I like it here. But you're right, though. I do have one foot in and one foot out. Uh, Joey, I feel like you've nearly got your power back. Yeah. I know you've just told me all that, but I feel you're nearly there. Okay. Yeah. I really do. I do feel that. You've got your power back. It's how you use it now. Right. It's, it's your your maneuver, your choice to go yeah. forward. Into it's it. everybody's choice. It's a free will. Mm -hmm. But, Joey, understand there's energies all around us. Everything's energy and and. And everything's a choice. You can do whatever you want. Nobody's going to force you. Mm -hmm. No one should be forcing you. We can't. We're not sitting here judging you. You can do what you want. You, the only one are going to force you to do something are the dark ones that say, "Oh, come on, come, come on." Yeah, that you know, was happening. Doing. That it, was it's happening. more fun. It's more fun on the dark side. <laughs> it is. It probably is. Hell of a lot more fun. Well, there's more work on 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 the light side, right? So you know, and and what actually. Work? 
Well, uh, what, what I, I don't, I don't consider this work. No. This is joyful. This is, this is an honor for me to do this work. Mm-hmm. Right. Truly, it's not work. If this, this, this is joy for me. Me to heal people? Are you kidding? Mm-hmm. To to clear up things that are that they're suffering from? This is not work. To give up six hours of my life on a on a busy day where there's a lot of people waiting for pain? That's work? I don't think so. I think so. This yeah, is actually, an honor. Last night there was um I was out with friends and there was this woman and my God the 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 the, the pain the pain that woman had was I just I mean I and I just sat there and and, and talked with her uh, and so uh, was that work? No, no, it was not work at all. No, I was actually quite quite, quite happy to do it. So um, so sitting at a party drinking and and drugs and and whatever else that I mean that's that's a lot more fun than helping somebody. That's oh, definitely not. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. So some people yeah. some people enjoy that more than doing this there's no comparison for me but i'm not going to judge someone if that's what they choose that's right. that's just a difference so that's that's what i'm talking about it's all what's in your heart yeah and i really think that um i should uh, i should start helping people again I, i've done that many times you know with um groups on facebook for example just random people i meet um you know I, I, so, so who, are, who are you spending your time with Right now, I mean, are they're at least decent people? They are not um, necessarily woke people, um, but they're they're good friends. They 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 take care of me. Um, Joey, you look Jerry, like you're in a good place. So carry on what you're doing. Just take right now. You've got your power back. You've just got to direct it into a light side. Just make sure you do everything for the light. Your vibration. Why are why are people taking care of you? Why are they taking care of you? You're taking care of yourself. Big point. Uh, well, for example, the uh, the um. So you remember that that woman I was living with? Yes. Um, yeah. So I've left there. I'm, I'm at, um, I, I'm, I'm living at, at a friend's house right now. Um, and, uh, ever since I've, I've come here, it's just been, life has been much better. It's more calm and quiet and there's no evil around me and I'm not being tormented every day. Um, yeah, if you move from that building, you're allowed, then that's a very good move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's too I much to dark around. More, hmm? I have to go back there one more time because there's a bunch of things that I just, I, I left behind and some of them are very sentimental to me. Yeah. And actually I, I, I call that place hell. I keep telling people I got to go back to hell one more time um but you know what uh what i have right now is i have a golden opportunity um i have a calm peaceful place to live um i have freedom you know freedom of choice of doing whatever it is that i want to do and uh I've, i made the choice um i made the choice to to use this time very wisely um because this really is an opportunity for me to uh to sort of how i feel is just it's like um reset um sort of reset myself and get myself back into doing the things that i enjoy doing um and one of those things I really feel like I, I need to I need to start helping people again. Um, I do believe that's why I'm still on this earth because I shouldn't be here. Um, but and I, I believe that's my, my purpose in life. So I'm I'm just basically trying to sort of refine myself and recenter myself and um, you know continue um, or get back into you know, doing what I was doing before, which was helping people. Mm. Good, good. Joey, how I do it? And I, I'm not being big headed egoistic by saying this. Like on Monday dinner time, I do an hour session to eat crystal healing with kids I teach them voluntary then on Tuesday night I do voluntary healing at an healing centre and Friday night I do voluntary judo coaching all voluntary don't get paid for it but I get a buzz at teaching people or helping people to, to go forward you know some, sometimes just making people better on their path is a reward in itself and doing this this is just the same yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, have a look at groups that you could help or any anything in the area yeah it does sound um, like you're living a lot better like that um well actually a friend of mine was 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 saying that the very same thing she said you know why don't you go volunteer like volunteer um at a homeless shelter or volunteer at a hospital or just any, anything uh, like that um and and actually that uh doing that it just it, it keeps popping up so obviously i should be paying attention to that right <laughs> <laughs> the signs <laughs> there you go <laughs> They're the signs. <laughs> I just pick that card up. That's amazing. That. Yeah. I don't. I don't see anything else. What that uh, you have issue. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, can you um, repeat that? No, I don't see any health issues with you when nope. we did this. Okay, good. That, that, the only thing that stood out with me is that you were on the fence. 
Yeah. You were between the dark and the light and yes. uh, you were confused, but I don't think you're confused. I think you just need to make a choice, but it's, yeah. you know, it's free. It's a free world and the choice is really yours to make. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah. But I yeah. think it is. I think that that place you were living was the dark. You were living in hell, the dark, and now yeah. you're living in the light and you're missing right. a little bit of that dark <laughs> because you're not used to being one end. It's one, that's, one extreme to the other. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's, um, I, I, I I've lived, I've lived in the dark for so long, you know, I've, I've arrived in there. Mm. Um, I don't want it anymore, but I don't know how to live it any differently. Right. You, you understand? Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know how to live <laughs> any better than that. So I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to learn, you know, it's, it's not for a lack of effort. Um, well, start, start, start every day with, I'm, I'm so thankful that I'm not there anymore. Mm. And watch all the watch all the good things happen. Start being grateful because it is, it is gratitude that gets you everywhere. Because when you're grateful, for, and if just the little things, big right. things happen. You know, I I actually have been um, ever since I I moved here. I've only been here for uh, two weeks. Um, and ever since I moved here, I've I found that I I've been a lot more grateful. I'm a lot I'm a lot happier. Like uh, people have been actually been been um, been commenting on that, saying, "Oh man, you actually you know you, you look better. Like I haven't seen you this this happy in a while." <laughs> younger <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that was possible i got to you look your normal age I actually just right. j- just had my 41st birthday on Monday, believe it or not. At the old place, it was a, a dark Today's witch. Today's my birthday. I was just, oh, Deb, birthday. at the old place, it was a Happy dark birthday. witch. You're living, you were living next to a dark witch. Yes. <laughs> and now you're not. That's excellent. Yeah. 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 It was... Uh... <laughs> you don't have any darkness around you. It's really amazing, the difference in your in all your features and everything. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm looking at myself in the camera, and I, I, I do look pretty, um, I would say bright. I definitely look much more brighter. Glowing. Yeah. yeah. I like good. this new you. I like this new you a lot. So <laughs> I would I hope you stay in the light. Well, like I said, um, uh, I think I said this um, last night. Last night, oh boy, I was just that close, that close. And I said, you know what, Joe? No, it's not worth it. Just go home. And I did. No um, one. Yeah, drew them from your head. I want you back, those duckies. <laughs> Yes, they do. They want me back, Pat. And I can, yeah, I, I can feel that. Yeah, I can feel it. And uh, sometimes, excuse me for being a little crude or rude, but sometimes I just, um, I, like, I, I will sort of feel, you know, like, I'll, I'll, I'll hear those voices and, and I'll feel that energy and I'll sort of turn around and I'll say, you know what, why don't you go fuck yourself? Like, <laughs> like excuse me for my language. Oh, no, like, just, just, just piss off. Like, I'm done with it. Right, right. right. <laughs> so, I I mean, I, 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 I've got a, uh, I've got a trucker, um, a trucker dialect with a, uh, with a, with a sailors sailors of vocabulary. Right. My, my grandfather was a truck driver. So was my dad. Don't worry, we, you're allowed. We, we we do that as well. <laughs> so um, no, we sometimes it just we I just tell them, you know what, just, just take off, just get out of here. I don't yeah. want I don't, yeah. I don't want you no more. And uh, it feels good actually. It feels really really good to, to say that rather than you know but giving I, in. What did I say at the beginning? You've got your power back. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have. You've got your power back. It's your choice well, now. That's, mm. that's 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 good to know. That's um, it's very it's it's very refreshing. Yeah, because. I was really struggling there for a long time, you know. And um, uh, say, uh, also last night, actually, there was um, an altercation. Like, so I was I was out there with friends, and, and this guy wanted wanted to fight me, right? And I just said, no, man. I'm just like, no, I'm not. I'm not going there. I'm not just whatever. We're we're all trying to have a good time here. The old me would have would have jumped right in there, and you know, <laughs> things would have happened. But I'm just, ah, I just don't have time. For this, <laughs> I just don't have time for it anymore. You know, I, like I, I really want to be on, on the good path and living a good life. And, and I feel it now more than ever. Um, and again, like, you know, leaving that, that, that house, I mean, and I knew that house was, was, was bringing me down and I knew that it was killing me and, you know, so to speak. Um, and I knew what she, what she was doing, but I was just so stuck there. And, and basically the, the choice was, was made for me. Um, it was made for me because I was having a really tough time doing it myself, right? Like making that choice and, and getting out of there. And so the, the universe just said, all right, you're you're out now and here i am you know and, and i'm really very thankful for it actually i'm very very lucky to have a, a friend like this very very fortunate really yeah so there's me being grateful right there there you go i'm glad i'm so glad that you uh found us yeah me too actually um it was uh it was maggie um when when i was uh when i was basically just sitting there and and, and dying she's like she's um, she always calls me calls me Joy. She's the one who actually started calling me Joy because uh, she can't pronounce Joe <laughs> with, with 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 her accent. And um, she said, "You know, Joy here, like you know, I'm, I'm going to gift you this um, this this healing session." And that's when I I met you guys, and and you guys saved my life. You, you really did. You I, I I was I was dying. I could feel it. I knew I was dying, and you guys saved my life. I, I remember um, you were in, right, you were in right bad after, bad shape. Right after we did the healing, the the very first healing session with with you, um, 
I remember you guys asked me, you said, oh, do you feel any different? And I'm just like, no, I don't feel any different. I still feel, feel bad. I feel, feel like I'm dying. And it was almost, almost exactly 24 hours later. And it was just light switch. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm alive again. I, I could feel my life energy coming back. It was, that was really cool. <laughs> and you guys knew things about, about my body and about my past that I've, I've never told anybody before. And so right there, I'm like, okay, I know you guys are, 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 are you know, legit, right? So that was, uh, I tell people about that all the time. I'm like, oh, there's, there's energy healing. You know, you know, if, if, if you got something wrong with you, like there's, there, there's, and I, I, yeah, I always try to like, try to help people out by, by letting them know that there, there are alternative um, methods to, to medicine, mm. which is energy healing. So, and I try to push people in, in that di- direction as, as much as I can. I mean, it's ultimately their choice and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. It's, true. it's their choice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if only my nose would stop moving. I had infection in my face when I was a kid, and uh, it's starting to flare back up again. I'm surprised you guys didn't, didn't notice that. Maybe it's just a common cold. I don't know. I said to me, Link, anyway. I was picking up what you, the experiences that we've had from you, uh, and that dog gone. So you're now normal human again. You get that? <laughs> you pick up, Dad. Is it allergies? Um, it's, I don't know. I, uh, he's got a pop. He's got a polyp in his nose. Polyp. I had an infection up in his sinus. There's a polyp. Mm. Yeah, I, I I had an infection um, about 20 years ago. Um, which basically it's infection. Me. A sinus infection. Yeah. Um, I ended up. Um, uh, I was so infected. I, I couldn't eat solid food. Um, I could only only drink water and uh, soup broth basically. Um, and about oh a month ago or so, it started acting up again. Just it's always on on my my left side here. Um, Did you have a polyp? I don't I don't know what that is. It's I can see it. So it's it's got to be. Well, I started acting up about uh, a week ago. I ended up getting really really sick. Um, and it's acting up again. Other than that, it's been about ten years. So it was twenty years ago I got the infection. About ten years. Years ago or so, 10, 12, um, it was really bad to the point where I could uh, I could actually feel, I think it was the mucus me- membrane, and it was just boom, 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 boom. And my nose would just run and like run and run like crazy. Actually, I ended up having to take some, some uh, I think it was you know, what, cold cold. you know what I think it is? I think it's the change from the environment from being a very dark place to a very light okay. place. I think you got a little like a reaction to it all. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You get that, Deb. That's what I'm getting. Because it, it happened when, when it could be, um, but he has, he has a part of his sinus that I'm. Yeah, what I mean is it's come out more since he's changed yeah. the environment. And this started happening after after I changed the environment, like when, when, when I came yeah. here. Also, I've, reduced, I've took some of the old energy out of you as well from the old place. You had some, some still left, so some of that still yeah. out. <laughs> I would imagine so, yeah. 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 That, that, that doesn't surprise me at all. I've had a, a couple of people try right. to help me. The, polyp, the polyp is gone now, so make it a little better. Okay. You feel it. I can feel it. It feels better now. Still a little uh, plugged up, but... Um, That'll go away. We've got that, some that energy strange, in there. Yeah. The, the, the strange... It'll um, stay there for about... A, yeah, it'll, it'll, um, it'll clear up in the next 24 hours. Okay. You'll awesome. feel less pressure next. Yeah. yeah. The energy will stay there this way. I was going to say that um, that that funny feeling, that sort of pressure, sort of feeling, is it's not quite as strong now. As I can tell but it's always there's this constant pressure in there. I really do think it got triggered when you moved out. Yeah, yeah. Different energies, different environment. Things come out. Yeah. You got to say stop, and you can have two cards. Stop. Oh. Be proud of yourself. You're doing really well, Joe. He's Thank got you. a self acceptance. We're, <laughs> we're proud of you. Self acceptance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's quite spot okay. on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, cool. you're far too difficult on yourself. Start loving yourself more. Stop being so no. serious. Yeah, I've been told that so many times. It's it's that's definitely one of my 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 more um tough. Your downfall. <laughs> yeah, my, my downfall. Yeah. yeah, I'm and proud of you. The other card, a Michael. Have you heard of a Michael before? Yes. yes. He's making his presence known to you. He's Arcane. with you all the time. Yeah. He's with you all the time. You had that last Arcane time, didn't you? You've had that before. Michael, yeah, I believe so, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure who he is, but he's making himself present. Oh, it's <laughs> tough. <laughs> Archangel Michael is always with you. Yeah, thanks for being here. He is. Me. He's always with you. Is um would would he be like my, my guardian angel? No, he's an archangel. He doesn't do guardian angel. No. He is high yeah. above that. He's always with you though. He's 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 taking you under his wing. Let's just say that. Well, I, all you um, have to well, do is all you have to do is whisper his name. He's right there. Really? That's what he's telling me right now. Awesome. That's that <laughs> 
that's really reassuring actually that yeah that's really reassuring that <laughs> makes me really happy because there, there there are times where where i've been in situations and it just i just wanted somebody to be there something or someone or somebody he's and asking uh, but, you he's asking you to trust that he's always there and hoping okay. that uh, you start feeling his energy because uh you're very loved you have a lot of angels and guides around you always you're never alone I've never. never, I've never felt alone. I've, I've felt alone amongst people, um, but I've never. Well, felt yeah. Alone. So, so have we. I mean, and that's easy to do because some people are just too into themselves and the you know, tunnel vision. But your angels and your guides are always there, and their energy is easy to feel because right. it's always love. It's always love. It, the change in the environment the last month or so, probably Michael has probably done it. So. Or yep. a guy or pushed it a bit. You know what I mean? Yep. Probably free will, but he he would have given the uh he would have helped out it's got to be your choices but he would have helped out awesome that's awesome really good news really happy to hear that yeah yeah all right guys i will let you move on to the next person i don't want to take up too much more of your time okay thank Thanks you so very on. much that was all very very good news all good news that was really good, good, good. yeah thank you so much you're welcome right. thank you. victoria you want to scan hello everyone yes please you've got something at the lower part of your back is that an implant did you feel something being placed in you i had a little bit of discomfort um I think a couple of days ago or something and then the the lower back didn't hurt yesterday but it was more it more of the the neck a little bit neck and the spinal cord and maybe it moves around i don't know i've been walk i walked well before into the into the park and that place is not safe either it's at the, it's at the bottom of your back right above the tailbone and that explains why you know had that feeling the neck is fine then there's something there too been doing regular healing on there's something there's something in the right and on, on the right of oh, the right ankle and the left one yep. what the heck? they're on the outside of the of the ankles not on the inside they're on the outside <sighs> Wow, my whole body is implanted then. Uh huh. There's something right here, right here. The ankles don't feel pain. Just the lower back and the neck area. This is like and a the... camera. This is like a camera, so they can see when you walk. This is the weirdest thing. They can so they're seeing what you're seeing. So well, they're following me, tracking me. They see what you see. They can see who you're talking to. It's a camera. that can hear you too. It's really evasive. Why are they so interested in her? I know. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Yeah. I was getting the an owl around you. I thought it was your spirit. Uh, your, Marley. Your, what? Marley, what's the matter? I thought it was a spirit owl, you know, your, your, your spirit thing, but it's not. You're connected to Athena. There you go. Ooh, Athena? Athena from, okay. from, it was like a robotic owl, actually. Yes, yes. And that, that basically means it, it's like giving, it's like you've got access to the God, knowledge of gods. Okay? You've got their knowledge, you can access it. And that's probably why they're interested in you. Also, owls mean prosperity, but I think this is more like prosperity of knowledge. knowledge. I have access to to the God's knowledge. Yeah, well, you have it through Athena's owl. So, so he, he must visit you regularly because I saw it. Uh, I, I was thinking it doesn't even look a real one. It looks like a looks like the one from uh, uh, yeah, the Jason and the Argonauts. One. You know that one on films years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's oh. the one on my ankle. You say that was placed there. That's uh, that. That's all. I, I was I was more interested in the how. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's get rid. We got, yeah. we got rid of it yet, Dad? No. no I, haven't I haven't touched them. I was just amazed at how many in her body. So so you're saying Athena and all the gods are, are interested in me or something? You've got access to them, so I don't know. I didn't ask the owl. I don't speak <laughs> owl. Oh, God. Yeah, the owl of God. I don't know. Well, you've already, right. you've already tracked track these devices so that it's the gods interested in her no or? no she's got connections to the uh yeah, well, that, owl. I hmm? that i understand that i understand um you break I, was it up, Deb. I am you need to pump your broadband up a bit and cycle more <laughs> you're back i don't know am i telling me anything so what were you saying i said i said that i was athena in life so she's the owl no the yeah. owl of <laughs> athena is in yeah. her presence in her energy field she's connected to it so she's connected yeah. to the athena uh, the, the, i don't know what athena what does athena do i don't know but yeah, she's connected to that god yeah so, but i don't know what the, the tra tra tracking is not gods wouldn't do that so many groups, I tell you. I just so hard to keep track, you know. I scanned last week, so it can't be very long. 
So the owl has been watching me, so to say. Giving you knowledge. Giving me knowledge. That's good. Um, grateful. Thankful. You can take him out now, Dad. No, we can. Which ones? All of them. Um, uh, who's implanting what in what area? There's so many of them. The old one. So it's uh, I don't, I, I don't. It's some sort of ships. There you go. Ships. I was on that. I was on one just then. Yeah, that. <laughs> Now disconnect, so we can remove the implant. Map. There, there's always a ship hanging around my skies every night. Well, every day, more like. I don't normally go to, on a ship. Very rare, very, very rare. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's in a, in a or a ride. Yeah. Or, or Saturn, very rarely. Mainly a ride. It's not. A ride. You should tell us about your journey sometime up on those. I might start doing yeah. stories on the YouTube. Huh? You should. You should. I'll be interested yeah. in watching it. Mm. Me and Bobby once um, actually went on a journey together, too, on one of the ships. Together is the first time. So do you have any idea who implanted all of those? They're, they're gone. You've been he The healing energy, the areas have been healed. Your field has been sealed and your, your uh, yeah, chakras did, aligned. They didn't have a barcode on them. Sorry. What? The implants didn't have a made in Orion. Orion. Uh, Orion. I don't know. They looked uh, actually the the beans. They looked uh, they looked uh, like a Klingon Star Trek, very similar to that. In fact, a bit, that's the new one. Yeah. Oh, the 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 Orions, that's the Orion. Yeah, but it was on the ship. So those guys, yeah, those guys. Oh, well, it can't be helped when the ship decide to implant people. They would do it. Um, I, like it just happens. Even though my, I think they had to do this because my shield, the shield I have on, is too strong on the ground. So they have no choice but to use galactic help for that. Say so stop, and I'll give you two cards. Stop. <sighs> Listening, and retreat. Retreat. Yeah. So retreat. Need a break from your journey to recoup. Slow down, recoup your energy. I want the other ones listening. Listen, using use your knowledge for intuition. Go so start listening to them more, especially this owl. <laughs> mm. Um, so I have access to connection to the uh the gods' wisdom and stuff like that. Athena. So, Athena, Athena. Does that where, where, mean... whether one of the other gods is borrowing an owl? I don't know. I think there's another one that uses an owl, but I think there Athena. Is... Hmm? There should be I, another one, but I don't think it's the other one, simply because I feel more connected to Athena. Yeah. I read that Athena is the daughter of Zeus. Zeus. Zeus, yeah. Yes. And Rick is the... Rick is Zeus, yeah. <laughs> My father. <laughs> right? So, yes. so, let me, so, so, so let me let, let me think. Um so what does Athena have to do with my soul lineage, so to say? Are we like a soul family group or something? I didn't ask. Yourself? I can't speak hmm? out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, that's true. Oh. I, I don't know. Okay. I, I think I'll just... That's your job to find out. Yeah, mm. I'll connect with them and yeah, find you out. You can't read in a book about your life story and all your connections. You've got to look for them yourself. Actually, you know, um, interesting because I had the moths come in um, just a few days ago, and now the owl comes in. And I don't know when this owl came through. Probably after the moths. Yeah, makes sense. That would make sense. No, um, he's joking. I don't know. I don't know. If I'm joking. He's joking, thinking the owl came in to eat the moth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, think so because he realizes his, his sense of humor. Nobody gets him. I don't know why I do. <laughs> mm. yeah. I think I hang around you too much. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the owl would eat the moth. Uh, not if these two had cosmic guides, the moths were very high vibrational. If they were not high vibrational, if they were regular <laughs> moths true. and it was a regular owl, they would eat one, one would eat the other. <laughs> so, all these implants were placed there by the galactic, so to say, and um, not really nice ones, yeah, not, not, yeah. not the good side, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, unless you're on the dark side. That's okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 you know, I'm neutral. I don't, I don't play roles. Like, you know, I'm not going to pick sides. Oh. They're all. They're yeah, all just, no, you've got to pick a side, but we are, we are balanced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So obviously, did you have to pick a side? You have to pick a side. You have to pick a side. I'm sorry, you have to. <laughs> I'm more leaning towards light, as you guys know yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, because if you're if you're neutral, that means that you're you know then then 
Well, you can't be neutral in this. Okay, no, you can't. No, not in this time. Not in this time. No, no, no. Not, not right now. Time. You have to choose a side. This is probably why I was seeing the, the moths were showing me that, you know, both me and my other aspect will get together. will both be gold and blazing sun or illumination, you know. That doesn't you? sound like the dark side. No, no, no. <laughs> doesn't sound like at all so everything is really positive on that aspect yeah. and and it will also be the the equinox energy and then you have the athena coming in as the um the divine feminine if you know what i mean so did divine you know feminine. about a, a athena connection with you before i said that um i didn't think about it because all most of my connections because i i knew something happened when i picked up the keys but i wasn't really paying attention mm. um so this was a real recent one and um i do know that anything related to atlantis and the old lemuria or even the old you know civilizations back then they would all be coming out like my, my connection to those um what you call higher self or nomads or whatever it is you know mm. i was calling upon them for like not specifically athena but for whoever who would answer as you know i was looking for um some higher guidance sure <sighs> Well, thank you so much for the help. You're welcome. You're welcome. Love you guys. Love you we love you too. All right. So I would like to request for a body scan. All right. Body is there already? I would like. Yeah. How's your throat feeling? Feeling okay. It is because it doesn't. Yeah. It looks good. I'm, I'm glad. I really. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm glad. I got that bothering. You having any shoulder issues? No, sometimes. But there's a li little pain. There's pain. How are your hands? Mm, Arth I have arthritis. Mm, yeah, I have that. You're not getting much from that. Uh, was that that witch that used to send you bad stuff? You seem to have sorted that. Yeah, Am I right here? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm on the wrong path. <laughs> you know that woman who gave you bad vibes, mm. really? The woman. Yeah. yeah, that woman's not bothering you anymore, is she? No. Don't, don't feel don't like know. it. Don't feel like yeah, it. Yeah, the last time she... I think the other day, I told her, mm -mm. I don't answer her uh, text anymore, no, no. When I was scanning you then, it was as though you were scanning me to see if I was a witch. Oh, wow. <laughs> to block me. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> you, you can block that sort of negative energy. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, apart from the arthritis, you look, you feel okay. You, your energies are quite good. Mm, good. Because sometimes I think I would like to help, but then I cannot in helping. Who? Her? That lady? Her, yeah. Because she no. is only no. years no. here. Then I'm already tw 20 years here. I would like to help her, but then I'll get no, sick. This this type of person has um really gone to the dark side, and um I would... Mm, yeah. When she approaches you in a friendly manner, she wants to take something from you, and she's the next one. To, she wants to take your house next. Mm, no. so you need to avoid her and not have anything to do with her. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. She's not. Yeah, even Archangel Michael is saying no, no. Yeah. Stay away from her. Keep your energy and protect your energy, your husband's energy, your, your daughter's energy, your home. Yeah. This yeah. person is not a good, you know, her energy is bad. And that's her choice. Yeah. Can't help some people. You just can't do it. Yeah. It only made me wonder, my husband and me, because like one week, two weeks into knowing her, she's already asking me if her daughter can sleep here over or I can watch her. I said, oh, I don't know you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of, a, of an energy fast. vampire, but even worse, it'll take everything. It's very fast, like calling me for hours. I want to tell you something and then talking, she's talking, she's talking. That talking is just embedded energies into you. Mm. Yeah. I said, what, are, what is this? I don't know you. I, I yeah. don't know. I was only listening, listening, listening. I don't need this. Do I say stop while uh, Deb has a birthday sleep? I say stop. That's the card. Okay. Stop. You woke up, Deb. <laughs> I think she's channeling me. <laughs> Support children. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it really mean? Uh... <laughs> Well, children is to do with yourself, obviously. Honour your inner child and have more fun. Yeah. And support. You're only not part that. of the picture. The beings that are around you is the old picture. So mm. probably uh, listen to them for the support if you ever need them. Yeah. Okay. So you've got some energy healing your arthritis in, in your so seven days. Drink the water. The energy stays with you. 
yeah, I have this address, this, this funny thing, this funny fingers which are turning. <laughs> yeah. You know. one, one thing about arthritis is it's, it gets fed by stress. If you ever feel stress, go for a walk near a river, near trees. Hmm? Stress, I don't have it. Yeah. But if you ever have anything that is stressful, that's what feeds arthritis. But that's what makes it worse. And this woman, yes, you did have stress. This woman was just stressed. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I she was, wasn't she? You couldn't have said that she wasn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now your okay. arthritis should be better because she's not in the... I'm glad, really. I'm glad. I cannot help her. No. Yeah. She's making her own problems and I cannot oh, help. Her. Definitely. She is. Yeah. Mm. You need to protect yourself and your family. Mm -hmm. I notice it. I notice it. It's energy is not that for me good. Right. All right. Thank, Thank you, everybody, you. for joining us today. Are we going mm -hmm. to do Deb for next? It's your birthday. <laughs> Got some healing in a scan. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give oh, you yeah, some healing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I said daughter of... <laughs> How old are you, Deb? Anyway, is it 40? <laughs> what did you say? Are you 40? <laughs> no, I'm 68. <laughs> uh, my birthday uh, in a month or so. Mm. In a month? Uh, 2nd of November. It's five weeks. Mm. And how old am I? 56. 57. 54. Then. 57? Oh, okay. I know I look a lot younger. You're a young guy. You're a baby compared to. <laughs> I've, I've sons my soul's years older. Younger. I have sons a few years <laughs> younger than you. <laughs> yeah, but my me, me soul's older. So it balances. You taking the wrinkles out of my face? Oh, you want me to turn your aging uh, program out? Or you want me to put it on stop? <laughs> We all have an aging program. You can stop it if you want. I'll uh, slow it down. I'll slow it down for you. Arch Archangel Michael said, "When I when my wrinkles start going away, that's when the event's going to happen." I keep waiting. I keep waiting. Come on, Archangel Michael. Big event in the end of November. Not today. Not the twenty fourth, like we've been saying. It's no, it's November. I didn't think anything was going to happen today, but it's still today's not over yet. Paul's on twice. Are we in a multi university? Uh, probably wants to be able to talk. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. There you go. Leave it that. Thank you. Ah. Two cards. Huh? When? That stop means when. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> American, I don't know. Ah, there you go. Power. You power know what that means. That, that means you've got, allegedly, you've got the power of the creator and truth and integrity. I said it right. Yeah, you said it right. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's right. <laughs> you keep on making the same mistakes, release it to the Kashik and sort it out. I don't know what the mistake. Maybe because you're the power of the creator. Yeah, do you think I do? <laughs> I do through him. <laughs> Did it work, it. Paul? Can you hear us? Can I, I don't know. You got voice yet, Paul? I guess uh, yes. no. Still can't hear him. Okay. We're going to sign off now anyway, Paul. We're done for the day. We appreciate you coming here. So, Paul, the energies are with you for the next seven days. Drink plenty of water. Let us know how you're doing. I'll send you the um, information that Philip sends me for you. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Love you. And I will send out the schedule for next month's healing in the next week or so. Much love. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye.